Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be creating some new royal mandalas and if you are not familiar with how I make these up to this point, uh, I have a tutorial that shows you exactly how to do that. Uh, what I've done is I've covered rocks in white paint, two coats of white paint, then I blended on three colors per stone, so purple, blue, and dark blue. Uh, blue, light green, dark green, yellow, coral, and magenta. Um, I've just blended that on while the paint is wet using a sponge specifically for each color. Don't mix your colors up with your sponges. Um, blend it on as, as best as you can and then I seal mine. I put like a little eyeshadow shimmer on them. It's not really eyeshadow, but it's it's nail powder. Same thing you guys have used, uh, seen me use many, many times. Um, when the paint is still kind of tacky, that's when I rub on the shimmer. And then I resin it, let it sit overnight, and then I can paint the, the mandala part um, once they're dry. So each one of these are unique in its shape, size, and color, but they're all going to have the same gold design on it. Um, so if you need to slow it down, that's completely up to you. I'm just going to kind of chit chat with you um, and explain some little bits and pieces. Right now, I'm just making sure that I found my center with a big dot of gold. Then I put some dots around that and then bigger dots between those dots. And now I'm gonna walk some dots, just little ones. You can use a toothpick or something that has a very tiny, tiny end. This is a dotting needle, which is found at nail supply stores, or you can probably buy one uh, online somewhere. It's a nail dotting needle. So I'm just walking around the bigger set of dots that I did and I'm doing the exact same thing on each one. So I'm gonna try and make this as easy as possible. I'm gonna try and walk you through every step um, and chat with you. Aren't these colors delicious? And like, I mean, come on, they're gorgeous. So now I'm gonna do some petals and that's going from the center dot that you just walked around the other dots. I'm going to say a lot of stuff that probably isn't going to make sense, but hopefully you guys get it and you're able to just follow along with what I'm doing. Uh, each one is very similar, not exact. Of course, I'm not a machine and I'm real. I'm not AI. <laughs> so each one is going to be, you know, not perfect and unique in its own little way. So now I'm kind of swooping from branch to branch like a monkey, <laughs> swinging around. Just kind of making those petals, petals. And I don't like pointy ends, so I'm going to put a little blob of gold on the ends of those pointy petals. So depending on the size of your stone, make sure you have enough room. Make sure you, if you have a smaller stone, you have to do your mandala part a little bit smaller. Um, if you're gonna try and get the same design on each stone, just make sure that you think about the size and how much space you have to work with. Um, so now I'm using my little dotting needle again and I'm just dotting up, walking up until I run out of paint. They get smaller as I go upwards. You'll be able to see that a little bit better. That's why I'm showing you with each one so if you missed it on the first one, you see it on the second one. And if you missed it on the second one, you see it on the third one. <laughs> see, I'm trying to help. And I'm trying to keep these all in the center of the frame so that I'm not going all the way off my, <laughs> my page with my stone and you guys don't get to see any of the work. Now I'm doing wishbones. Simple little wishbones. Same thing on every one. Pretty simple. Oh, I'm, I'm going out of frame right after I just told you I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> See, not perfect. And that's okay. 
I love the colors. These are so bright and summery looking. These look, I'm sorry. <laughs> These look beautiful, like in potted plants or around succulents or, uh, I just, they, they're so bright and beautiful. They're like little rays of sunshine and they just look so pretty with anything, any kind of foliage. Um, so now I'm kind of pinstriping our wishbones. It's good if you have nice thin paint when you're doing this gold part. You don't want it to be thick and globby. It's hard to work with when it's like that. I do add a little bit of water to my gold paint so that it does run a little bit smoother for me. So give that a try as well. Just grab a bottle of water and use fresh bottled water or distilled water and stir it in slowly. Don't add too much. You can't take it away. Um... So just add little bits at a time and stir it up really good and, until it's the consistency where you can fine line things a little bit easier. And uh, yeah, my fine lining brush tutorial is in the description of every video. And if you can't find it in the description, just search on YouTube, Rachel's Rocks Fine Lining Brush or Rachel's Rocks Resin or Rachel's Rocks Blending Brush or... Rachel's Rocks Royal Mandalas because you will find them. I actually painted uh, all hundred of my guests uh, Royal Mandala for my wedding. Um, so each one got a unique one. Most of them had the color purple in it because that was our color. Um, but yeah, that's something that everybody got to bring home with them as a little keepsake from my wedding, which we all know is is over and done with and I'm now not with my husband anymore uh, long story now I have put bigger dots between those pin striped wishbones and now I'm walking dots around them I think I'm gonna do two rows I'm not sure yet remember you don't have to do what I'm doing if you don't like this design you can do whatever you want on top of this because I resined it I can literally take like a wet cloth and wipe all this paint off and start over if I don't like the design because it's on top of resin um, but if you didn't resin yours I wouldn't suggest wiping it off <laughs> be careful uh, but it's easy to work with on top of the resin and if I do make a mistake I can just wipe it off it's it's one of the things I love about using uh, art resin so I have done two rows of walking the dots. First I used the small needle, then I used a little bit bigger of a dotting tool because I wanted the dots to be just a little bit bigger. When I do dots like this, it kind of reminds me of chain. So like it's like little chain links around the dots. That's what I like. That's what I kind of imagine when I'm creating them. Um, so yeah, you can like string chain from one bit to the next bit. Um, right now I'm doing like teardrops from the point of the wishbone. Once again, I don't like to leave pointy things in my, in my mandalas. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's just the way I am. So I've gotten rid of the point on our wishbones and I've put a big teardrop. And I'm not going to do too much more to this. There's just going to be some dotting. And each one is exactly the same. I've done the exact same. See, I'm just wiping away with a wet Q-tip. I just like literally erased and started over in one spot there. Very easy to work on top of resin and you can easily resin over top of this again. I've never had an issue ever in the years that I've been using art resin and painting on it. Uh, I've never experienced an issue of resining over top of painted resin. So what I am going to be covering these in another coat of resin to protect that artwork and uh, they're going to look absolutely gorgeous. I'm just walking the dots down in a point. Those points are fine because they're dots, they're circles, <laughs> they're round. <laughs> I don't know why, maybe it's OCD of some sort. Painter's OCD. Who knows? Now I'm putting a dot of gold where the wishbone point meets the teardrop. 
didn't want there to be any pointiness there either. <laughs> I love the colors of these. These are so beautiful. So I am going to put these in a resin bath. And if you don't know what that means, it's just me covering them in resin and putting them in a plastic container overnight and letting them dry. And they're going to look exactly like this. Magnificent, bright and beautiful. Uh, only that gold will be underneath a coat of glass. You can see all that glitter. I'm actually going to show you the glitter that I used. Um, just in case you don't want to go back and look at the tutorial. Um, I'll show you the glitter I used before I show you these resin. Okay, hang on a minute. Okay, as promised, the glitter that I use on top of these royal mandalas is something I just get from Amazon. I actually had someone that sent me some through my Amazon wish list. Uh, very thankful because they're beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, they, it's like a dust, like a powder, like the same kind of stuff that I use uh, to do some chrome. Um, this is chrome or you can use chrome flakes. Um, all, all found on Amazon. It's usually meant for nails, uh, for giving it that glazed chrome look. Um, or you can use it on rocks, which is my favorite thing to do. <laughs> I'm not sorry for that at all. Of course, my favorite color, purple. So yeah, depending on what color you're working with for your mandala, you can decide which colors of this dust you want to use. Um, I find that with my resin, it does not run. Um, but some people, when they spray their rocks with a sealant, um, it makes all your glitter run down to the bottom of the rock. Um, the only thing I use is, is art resin, so I don't know what to uh, suggest other than that. Uh, I've never had any issues with it. So here's a couple of bigger ones that I'm working on. Um, just got them all ready to go so that I can paint the gold design on them. I do like to add some crystals to the gold design afterwards as well. So I might do that. You might see those finished in another video. This is a hope stone that I'm working on. I love dotting these hope stones with different shades of cerulean blue. It's like one of my favorite blues. I can show you that one finished in the next video as well. Um, yeah, this is watercolor background, which is kind of like that sparkly stuff, only it's been mixed into a paint. And then I use that as a background, cover it with resin, and then put cool things over top of that beautiful color shifting rainbow background. I just love making backgrounds. <laughs> So I brought these babies outside so you could see them in the sunshine. How gorgeous is that? They're absolutely, they're jewel, they're jewels. They're like eye candy for any room of your home, any plant, gardens, keep them in the shade so the sun doesn't fade the paint. Um, if you use resin, it does seal them very well from the elements. Uh, just keep them out of the sun, keep them in the shade because the paint bleaches that beautiful color. So here are some still photos of these gorgeous babies. I just love making these. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make them. I hope you take a look at the original Royal Mandela or Royal Mandela tutorial. Here's one with my uh, tattoo that I designed myself as well. I really love the colors. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Please hit the like button um, and share if you can. And let me know what you think in the comments. Give me some more ideas as well. I love you guys. I will see you very, very soon. Keep painting. Watch out for me in the next couple of days. Bye.